Virtual memory is a location within your hard drive that Windows uses to store temporary RAM. So this is a fantastic way to easily speed up Windows 10 and Windows 11 if your computer's feeling very slow. Because if you start getting low on memory, then Windows will use your hard drive as a virtual memory to expand the RAM. Although your hard drive or SSD won't be as fast as actual RAM, it can still really help. Speed up Windows and then fix other issues like error messages and stuff like that within Windows. So to increase the virtual memory, all you need to do is open up the start menu and you now need to type in performance. You now need to click on adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. If you don't see this option, then just type out adjust the appearance and performance of Windows and then open it. You then need to click on the advanced tab and you then need to click on change under virtual memory. The next thing that we need to do is untick automatically manage the paging file size for all drives and you then need to select the C drive. So as you can see at the moment, mine is system managed. So we actually want to select custom size. So as a rule of thumb, you can actually work out what numbers you should put into the initial size and then the maximum size. So you can grab a calculator and then work this out. However, if you do have a lot of memory already within your computer, then the size that you would get to put into these boxes would just be too large and it could actually in fact make Windows unstable. Which is why I would actually recommend that you put in the initial size, the recommended value, and then also in the maximum size, the recommended value as well. So I would put 44 and then 66, and then the same in maximum, 44 and then 66, and then click on set. But if you want to actually calculate a page in size, then you can open up the start menu and type in calculator, and then open it up. The next thing that you need to do is now type in 1024 and you then need to go times and you now need to times the amount of memory that you already have in your computer. So for example if I right click on the start menu icon and if I then go to system I can see here that I've got 32 gig of RAM installed on my computer. So I would then need to go times 32 and I'd then need to go times again and I'd then need to go 1.5 and then press enter. So that's 49,152. So I'd then need to type that into the first box, the initial size, and I'd then need to go back to the calculator and then click on C. I'd now need to type in 1024 again, and then times, and I then need to type in my memory again. So as you can see, it was 32 gig. So I need to do times 32, and I then need to do times again, and then this time three, and then press enter on my keyboard, and I'd then need to type in 98,000. And as you can see, that makes 98 gig. And that is just huge, that is far too much. In fact, that would actually make Windows become unstable because when you use virtual memory, it's actually more of a temporary fix for Windows. So like I said at the start of the video, it's a section on your hard drive that Windows uses to store temp a paging file to store as temporary virtual memory to help Windows if you start getting low on RAM, which will then help speed up Windows and stop it from crashing. So really the ideal situation would be to go out and buy more RAM for your computer if you keep getting low on system memory. So that does now bring me to the end of this video though. So like I said, type in the recommended amount. And then once you've done that, unless when you do that calculation that I just showed you was low enough and not too large, click on set and go OK. Now restart Windows and you have now set the virtual memory within Windows 10 or Windows 11. So I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more computer sluggish videos, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.